Good evening, everyone, uh, or good late, good afternoon. Uh, whatever time it is, five thirty. Uh, yes, it's um, getting a little darker, quicker now as we are fast approaching winter. Uh, not too far away, only a couple of weeks away. So the weather's definitely gotten a little bit cooler. Um, but the good news for property owners is um, that things seem to be uh, heating up a little. We've had a bit of a quieter patch with all the uh, long weekends, uh, what so have you, and all the, the public holidays. So it's been a um, it's been an interesting time. But nonetheless, property selling, and you know, there's uh, still some good quality uh, buyers in the marketplace. So I hope everyone's had a great weekend. Um, I will make it relatively quick. Um, I, as most people know, I do have a little one at the moment, so um, you know I want to have a little play with him this afternoon. Um, so guys, quickly, uh, today's topic is give yourself enough time to make mistakes. Um, I think, look, you know, no one lives a, a life that you know that, that you make absolutely no mistakes. Um, you know, everything's fault free. Um, there's always things that you need to learn from. But the big thing is is about mistakes. You probably can hear my son in the background there. He wants to have a little play. Um, the big thing is about making mistakes is learning from them and learning valuable lessons. And I guess in real estate, um, you know, we, we see trends and we see patterns and we get asked all the time how the, how the, how's the market and what's happening. Um, and you can always reflect, you know, I had a couple of auctions this weekend and, you know, one went, you know, particularly well and, and one's um, gone well, relatively well as well. Um, but one that, you know, went really well, look, you know, we had discussions before that about, you know, some of the other auctions and, and, and what sort of happens. And I guess part of the, you know, preparation for an example I'm using is an auction is that you know what's happened and what situations might arise and you know what happens if you know a bit of you know does this or no one bids or you know you've got 20 people bidding so you know and and sometimes there has been mistakes made um and not only by you know someone like myself but you know you, you view other you know agents or agencies or you hear of mistakes or you do training with a real estate trainer and you learn from their mistakes so it's a very important thing um, that you know, if you are if if you are learning from those mistakes, and as I said, it could be you know if you're you know getting coached you know in a, in a particular you know thing like auctioneering, um, and you learn from that you know the auctioneer coach tells you a few test case studies on what mistakes people have made. I guess that prepares you for those situations that pop up because life does throw you uh, you know throw a few curveballs in all sorts of aspects. So, you know, so definitely, you know, with regards to that, it's about learning, uh, you know, from that mistake. Um, you know, the other thing too that, that does creep into this is if, um, you know, if, you, if, you're not, if you're not making enough mistakes in my um, experience with things, is you're probably not taking enough chances out there or you're not, um, you know, having a full go at things. Because, you know, the more mistakes you have, the more life experience you have, um, you know, the better situations or the better outcomes that you're going to have. So, you know, if you aren't making any mistakes out there, are you living a life that's just, you know, very, you know, you're living, you're not living past that red line or are you really pushing yourself? Because you'll find if you push yourself, I mean, look at a sprinter. You know, look, you know, they may prepare and they may do everything right and then they may push themselves that little bit too hard um, and they may pull the hamstring. So, you know, then they're out for a while. So they're, you know, they're out, they're not running, they're not training. I mean, they're probably training, but they're not doing their sprinting training. So they've got to take a step back. But they've learnt the mistake that they made in the first place that put them in, you know, to get that injury. So they won't get that injury again. You know, footballers. Footballers make mistakes all the time. You know, if you watch a, you know, a, a good game of, you know, union or league like AFL as well. Look, I'm, I'm not a big follower of AFL. Legal union. You'll find that the the some of the best players out there make mistakes. But you know, guess what? They're having a go. So the mistakes, you know, they're making are only for the fact that they're pushing themselves to another level. And, you know, look, I think of the origin. I mean, origin's obviously on, you know, everyone's mind. It's not too far away. You know, and you look at some of the great players over time, like Thurston, you know, and they've made mistakes, but they've learnt from those mistakes. And, you know, the great Darren Lockyer, you know, like he, you know, played obviously a long, you know, career, 
and when Queensland wasn't winning all the time, he was a part of, you know, probably those early years. So they would have learnt from mistakes that were made in those early years. And then to the run that Queensland had of winning all those series in a row were probably lessons learnt when, you know, they were having thing, having to go try new things to beat the other side or beat New South Wales in that case. Um, and, you know, it's, it's definitely something you've got to learn. So I guess, guys, look, in closing, you know, give yourself enough time to make those mistakes and you'll only make it through experience and you'll only make it having a go and executing. And if it doesn't work, guess what? That's fine. You might make the mistake, but guess what? Learn from it, move on, and next time you won't hopefully make that mistake. I hope everyone has a great week and I look forward to seeing you next weekend. Thank you.